The soil disturbances by animals affect both physical and chemical soil properties. These disturbances create vegetation-free areas, shape soil topography, alter soil density and structure, change infiltration properties and soil moisture, influence the nutrient situation, and contribute to carbon cycling and nutrient turnover, for a detailed account of species. We all know that too much information can be a bad thing, this is as true in daily life as it is in business. Filtering useful from useless information has become a growing problem, bringing confusion with it, but this is where data curation can help. Curating data involves finding and displaying patterns in large volumes of disconnected and messy data to create meaningful information. Another virtue that both propagate is that the present is meant to be enjoyed to the fullest. It is no use fretting about the past for it cannot be undone or overturned and no use pondering too much about the future for it remains unseen. The day being thought about may never dawn on you. The ultimate service, however, remains the one done for your fellow men. Bioperturbation, the disturbance of soils by animals, is an important and often essential functional component of many ecosystems worldwide. It determines the spatiotemporal characteristics of soil patches and thereby contributes to the ecosystem's diversity and heterogeneity.
Birds have a variety of methods by which they are able to find their way across the flyways, year in, and year out. It seems that birds employ different geo-positioning strategies according to the conditions encountered during migration. They seem able to use the position of the sun and stars, the Earth's magnetic field, smells and even landmarks to find their way. It is quite normal to feel under pressure, and pressure can sometimes be a positive force, it can make us feel energized and take action to get results. But if the pressure becomes too much and we tip over into the feeling of being stressed, then it can have negative impact on us and our health. However, stress is a very subjective phenomenon and it lacks a precise medical definition. In meteorology, precipitation is any product of the condensation of atmospheric water vapor that falls under gravity. The main forms of precipitation include drizzle, rain, sleet, snow, grapple, and hail. Literature allows us to move beyond the inevitable boundaries of our own lives and culture because it introduces us to people different from ourselves, places remote from our neighborhoods, and times other than our own. Reading makes us more aware of life's possibilities as well as its subtleties and ambiguities.
astronomers have recently discovered a large cloud of gas, in which many new stars are being formed, not far from our own solar system. While it would seem surprising that this phenomenon hadn't been previously noticed, the researchers explained that recent innovations in measuring the distance of gas clouds more accurately led to this discovery after older observations were reinterpreted. Fin whale songs contain signals that are reflected and refracted within the crust, including the sediment and the solid rock layers beneath. These signals, recorded on seismometers on the ocean bottom, can be used to determine the thickness of the layers as well as other information relevant to seismic research.